Hey everyone, back with another dog food video. So today we got a really healthy meal here for dogs. Now all these ingredients I got, I go through the store and I kind of pick out things as I see them and also based on the pricing. So if you want to substitute one thing for something different or slightly similar or omit one thing and add something else in, that's fine. You don't have to have an exact replica of this, but do it something similar. So to start with, we'll go with our meats. Have some pork here. Now pork is completely fine cooked. You never want to feed raw pork. There's a misconception that pork is not good for dogs, but it's fine. You just have to cook it for sure. I also feed raw food as well. Here I got some chicken livers, just a buck twenty-four. These were two forty and two thirty, and I was buy one get one free. So only at a couple bucks. And I got ground turkey. You could use ground beef, ground bison, ground lamb, whatever you find that's the cheapest. And uh, it was on sale for two fifty. This was 50% off, this is some steak. So it was just two bucks. So all the meat here was actually fairly inexpensive for this meal. I did have a couple leftover uh, boneless, skinless chicken thighs, so I'm gonna throw those in. Those are probably worth, you know, a buck or a couple bucks. And I have some sardines. If you get these, you wanna get them in water only. Do not get ones that are in oil or any seasoning or flavoring. Uh, if you can get some with reduced or no salt, that's good. If you get just in water, it's fine. The amount of salt in there mixed in with all this other stuff that doesn't have salt will be fine. And end meals will have almost none. Got a can of beans here. These are no salt added organic beans. You can use red beans, black beans, pinto beans, some garbanzo beans, some other beans as well. If you want something other than that, look it up. We got some green beans, some sweet potato, regular potato, and carrots. Let me go ahead and get everything chopped up. The smaller your dog, the smaller your pieces you want. The bigger your dog, you can cut up the meat a little bigger if you want, so it just doesn't take as long to prep. Now that everything's chopped up, we're just going to throw everything into a pan. You want to add a little water. This is a pretty small container here. I'd say I got like three-fourths a cup to a cup. You do not want to put a ton of water in, but we want some in there to help the vegetables and everything steam. So I'll just go ahead and get everything in here. With everything in the pot, we'll go ahead over to the stove. Now at the stove, turn your burner on to a medium-low heat. We're not trying to cook this super fast, a medium-low heat. And you're not even going to really have to stir this much, but you do just want to make sure your ground uh, turkey or ground meat, whatever type you use, isn't all just in one clump. So I just kind of move that around to begin with and make sure that that's kind of cut up and not just one big clump. So that should be fine. And I know it looks like my pan's stuffed. I just know it's going to fit in here just fine with how I'm cooking it. But you can use a bigger pan. So now we're just going to cover it. And then once we start seeing steam and it's kind of simmering, then we'll cook it for 20 minutes. So we got to give it a little time to preheat, then about a 20 minute cook. It started steaming and uh, simmering now. So now we're going to go ahead and just keep the stove temperature about at the level of a low simmer and now let it sit for about 20 minutes. After the first 10 minutes I'm going to take the cover off and stir it up a little bit more and then I'm going to leave the top off and keep cooking for the second 10 minutes. After about 20 minutes mine's done. Now depending how much you make, how big a pot you use, what temperature you got it set to, it might take a little more but you'll know it's done for sure when the biggest potatoes are soft and easy to push through. And in my experience, if the potatoes are done, all the meat's definitely done. So if your potatoes are soft and every, all your vegetables are soft, you're good to go. Now we'll go ahead and turn off the uh, stove. And we're just going to let this sit now for about 15 to 30 minutes. And it'll help get some of this liquid out of there, just evaporate and cool down so that we can feed it and store it. After cooling for a while, you'll see a lot of the liquid is gone. It's not too much anymore. Going to be a little bit left in there. If you have too much, you can strain it. But as I scoop this out, it should be good. And all that liquid has nice nutrients in it as well. Let's go ahead and finish the video with how to pack it and store it. And then we'll give some to my dog. And here's our final product. This isn't even half of that pot. Got at least three, three bowls like this size, maybe four. Now, I'm not going to actually store it in this. This I just kind of put to look nice. What I do is I put them in plastic containers. And I'll store about a week's worth of what my dog's going to eat in one tub and then I'll make another couple tubs and I'll freeze the extra food. I'll feed this for up to a week from the fridge so anything more than I think is going to be able to be eaten in a week I'll freeze. And that's it. You can keep it in the freezer basically as long as you need, a year at least probably. But super healthy and easy to cook food. Let's see how my dog likes it. 
We'll see y'all later. Have any questions, let me know. He's very excited. Okay.